Ball control is an important aspect of soccer, as it allows the player to keep possession away from an opponent and set themselves up for the next play. The sole of the foot can be used to control a ball that is rolling towards you, particularly a ball at speed. It is also commonly used when a player is closely marked and using the sole of the foot allows the player to control the ball safely away from the opponent's reach. Now let's take a look at coaching this technique step by step. Step 1. Move your body behind the oncoming ball as quickly as possible so that it is coming directly towards you. Step 2. Bring your controlling foot out at ball height with your foot on an angle so that the top half is positioned higher than the bottom half. Step 3. Wedge the ball between the top of the foot and the ground, which will stop the ball completely in front of you. Now let's take a look at how to demonstrate this skill to your young players. Now let's take a look at some common mistakes that young players make when performing this technique and solutions on how to fix them. Common mistake number one is that the player raises their foot too high and the ball goes underneath it. Remind players to have their foot at a height which is directly in line with the top of the ball, nothing higher. Also make sure that the toe end of the foot is higher than the heel so the ball can be wedged between the top part of the sole and the ground. Common mistake number two is that the player doesn't move behind the ball but instead tries to control it from the side. This can cause the ball to go behind or bad ball control and lead to an opponent dispossessing you of the ball. It's good practice to get your body behind the ball so that there is no chance the ball can go behind you and you have more balance when you're controlling the ball. Common mistake number three is that the player stomps on the ball which causes it to bounce off the sole of the foot and away from the player. Be sure that the player has their foot in a position where the ball is easily wedged without them having to apply any downward pressure on the ball.